Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Craft Beer Workstat Der Schwarzenbach. Craft Beer Workstat, what a name. Yeah. Is it like Craft Beer Workhouse? Craft Beer like uh, yeah. Cool Brewery kind of thing? Uh, anyways, this is a... Uh, a dark um, Doppelbach, I guess. Yeah. Or dark beer. I don't know why I say Schwarzbach. That makes me think it's like a Schwartz beer and a Bach, Bach together. Yeah. But I'm sure that's I'm sure that's lost in German translation for us, and we mm -hmm. just don't know any better. This comes in at 6.2 percent, apparently. Ooh, this might be the darkest one we've had yet. Now that yeah. looks Christmassy right there. That's what I'm talking about. Can doesn't say much of anything except they have IBUs on here. Oh. Whoa, 14, 14. IBU. Oh, that's the first one we've seen so far in this advent calendar with that. This one actually might be a standard release from them because yeah. it's not stickered or anything like that. It has a lot more information. It looks like a little bit more information on there anyway. Cool can art. Yeah, very cool. It's got this like kind of ram's head with like horns on it, it's like a star in the middle of his yeah. face. It's kind of cool. I'm sure they were trying to avoid the upside down stars to uh, <laughs> to avoid the pentagram thing, but yeah. you know, whatever, it is cool. That looks great. Nice amber color. Very indicative of the style of a Bach, anyway. It had quite a nice head when you first poured it, and now I kind of dissipated. Yeah, it kind of disappears pretty quickly there. Aroma time, let's do it. I can yeah. I can instantly tell it's gonna be very sweet. I'm getting, I'm getting like toasted coffee, almost like cacao bean. Okay. Like notes, like it's it's not sweetness chocolate, it's more like traditionally roasted cacao nibs. Yeah. Ooh, that's really good. Some cereal on the nose there, mixed around with that cacao nib thing. Maybe yeah. it's just a hint mm. of like plumminess. God, that's like a coffee where it's like yeah. really intricate and it's got a lot going on. There's a lot going on in the smell here. Yeah, I hope there's a lot going on in the taste, taste, but there's only one way to find out. So let's dive in. Cheers. It's got all the flavors that you'd expect out of a Bach. It's, it's got this medium to, to sort of heavy mouthfeel. It's not viscous, it's just like thick, for lack of a better word. Um, yeah, and you, you get all those like malty notes yeah. to it. It's just like really nice compared to all the like lighter stuff that we've been drinking lately. I thought I was gonna get a bit more of what I'm smelling in the taste, but not too much. Um, and it's not a light beer. Like no. if this was lighter in body, I'd be depressed. Yeah. But it's got this dense sort of like character to it. It's a, it's, I wouldn't call it a heavy drinking beer, mm -hmm. but it's definitely like a medium bodied, yeah, full sure. bodied beer, you know? Over roasted barley notes, the cereal thing that backs it. Caramel. Caramel, a little honey. That mm -hmm. plum thing is coming through. I don't know if that's plum or some sort of dark fruit. Cherry, maybe. Maybe cherries, yeah. That's uh, more plummy than it is cherry. It's good. It's complex, more and like, it's good. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's good, for sure. I like this one. It's like fresh dates is what it really is. But that sweetness makes you think raisins. Yeah. Yeah. The sweetness, um, yeah, like the dried fruit. That's delicious. But that is good. So good. More of this. More of this for the winter time. All right, guys, well, that does it from us. If you liked what you saw, hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really helps us out. And until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.